backlash tonight on Capitol Hill after President Trump says both sides involved in the deadly violence in Virginia are at fault. You had a group on one side that was bad, and you had a group on the other side that was also very violent. During a press conference at Trump Tower, the president placed blame on both sides for the chaos over the weekend. That violence in Charlottesville resulted in the deaths of three people and numerous other injuries as counter protesters clashed with white nationalists. CBS 13's Angela Greenwood is in the newsroom now. She has more now on how the president addressed the violence for a third time today. Angela? Sam and Adrian, it was the president's initial response to the violence in Virginia that both sides were to blame. And he said today, now that he has all of the facts, he still believes that's the case. His words, though, coming under fire from lawmakers on both sides of the aisle. I think there's blame on both sides. A combative President Trump returned to his original assessment of the race field clashes in Charlottesville, Virginia, Tuesday, saying the blame should be shared. You had a group on one side that was bad, and you had a group on the other side that was also very violent. And nobody wants to say that, but I'll say it right now. The statement won praise from former KKK leader David Duke, but lawmakers, even Republicans, expressed outrage. Senator Marco Rubio tweeted, you can't allow white supremacists to share only part of blame. Senator John McCain wrote, there's no moral equivalency between racists and Americans standing up to defy hate and bigotry. The president of the United States should say so. Racism, bigotry, uh, anti-Semitism of any form is unacceptable. The president was also asked if chief strategist Steve Bannon, who's been linked to the alt-right, will remain in his administration. Trump declined to say if Bannon would keep his job, but did defend his character. We'll see what happens with Mr. Bannon, but he's a good person, and I think the press treats him, frankly, very unfairly. Trump also questioned if tearing down Confederate statues would lead to calls to remove monuments to slave-owning founding fathers. I wonder, is it George Washington next week, and is it Thomas Jefferson the week after? You know, you, all, you really do have to ask yourself, where does it stop? Several executives have recently resigned in protests from the president's manufacturing council. The president said they can be easily replaced. Now, the president did denounce the alleged driver of the car who plowed into counter protesters Saturday, calling him a murderer and a terrorist. We've also learned that the same white nationalist groups that were marching in Charlottesville are planning similar rallies across the nation this weekend. Well, it certainly was the press conference that everyone was talking mm -hmm. about today. No question about it. All right, Angela, thanks so much for that live report in our newsroom.